Joey and I recently saw Rambo mm-hmm. Last Blood. Joey, what were your thoughts on Rambo um, Last Blood? It was fine. It didn't <laughs> feel necessarily... So Rambo 4 was the best Rambo out of yeah, all of them. I think I agree with um, you. <laughs> I watched the original three. Not good. First one's... Not, <laughs> no? It's fine. It's not great. The first one's fine, but like... I don't know. He's supposed to be this like grandiose hero or whatever, and and he like doesn't really do a lot. Like nobody dies except for like the that dude, the dude in the helicopter. Yeah, and that was his own fault. Yeah, because like he didn't put a seatbelt on. Yeah. Oops. And yeah, whoopsie. Ah. Let's make a pact. <laughs> I think it was. I mean, like we talked earlier, um, Rambo is based off a book, so mm-hmm. it did have those cool elements about you know he's a Vietnam vet and he went to go see a friend and his friend turned out to just pass and mm-hmm. so he's already dealing with that and then the sheriff of that town wants his ass out you know for no reason he, he arrests him for no reason well he's walk he's walking and he's, he's got rambo long hair he's walking. And- he's walking he's a veteran mm-hmm. and he's like we don't want you in our town at his age it could be i'm gonna be a tommy dead. boy in 10 years <laughs> this is tommy boy's dad oh okay so this new one action doesn't start like for about 45 minutes. Yeah, it is. And it's only like an hour 20. It's only like an hour 30. (laughs) So it felt a lot like a Home Alone movie, Mm. just with brutal killing. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Did it have awesome moments where he jumped on the back of the Jeep and just started annihilating? That was only Rambo 4. Oh, but they peaked at that one. God, that was an awesome scene. There are still some awesome elements. Yeah. There are, there are. But so that's the thing with this series. It found its footing with the fourth one, and then it peaked with the fourth one. Mm hmm. So oh so like the original three they all they <laughs> they all end with like this weird these weird songs that are like so like eighties like opening yeah uh, intros to TV shows like a Jeff Franklin show or mm-hmm. whatever it's like on the wings of love <laughs> <laughs> like I don't that's not like one of the songs but there's a song like I think it's the first one and it's like talking about how like the soldiers come home and they don't Lady know like, and they're, red. they're like they're like blood they're like, they're like all these men across the sea were going to war <laughs> and it's just like what the hell why would you choose this song for this movie? <laughs> and then at the end of the third one because it's a it's in Afghanistan and it says dedicated to the fighters in Afghanistan. Taliban. Yeah. And I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. It like, does. This was like 10 years before like everything started. No I shit. Like, I was like, Ooh. And then like, and then <laughs> it, it ends with, uh, have you heard He's My Brother? No. Um, <laughs> you couldn't it's hear like, it now. It's like, it's like, the road is long <laughs> with many a winding turn. I'm like, this is not it. <laughs> This is not fit a woman <laughs> or like a brutal. He just killed like three hundred people in two in like less than two hours. This does not fit. And he's like driving off with like the chief or whatever, whoever, yeah. like the the guy who's like in all the, the colonel, colonel, the colonel. Mm. And it's just <laughs> the road is long <laughs> with me. And it's like he ain't heavy. He's my brother. <laughs> I'm like, like, that's a great song. Yeah. But it, why? I don't understand. It's like, it's like, I don't know, going to Rocky and be like, hey, Macarena. (laughs) And it's just like, I don't know. So those those are my problems with the first three. Because like, uh, 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 and also they just weren't like, it was very much just like, look how many explosions we can do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know. That's what you expect from like Free Michael movies. Bay. That's what you expect yeah. from action movies, but like, yeah. give me some ounce of story. Right. And I'm just like, I'm just like waiting for him to kill the next guy. I'm like, okay, yeah, he's gonna do this. <laughs> but Rambo Four was pretty badass. Rambo Four was really like it, it really found its footing, really gory. Like, the, yeah, it, it, it. I <laughs> Josh took me to see it uh, when I was in like seventh or eighth grade. Holy shit! So and like. I don't think either of us expected Mom it. Mom said, get... watch your brother. Okay. No, I don't, think either, of us, I don't yeah. think either of us expected it to really be like that. I was like, oh, it's probably just going to be like, you know, like the 80s. He, th- yeah. he does like a throwing knife and it lands and the guy's like, he's like, bah! Yeah. But like this dude, this one, he's like got a 50 cal and he's like ripping dudes in half. Like from a distance too. <laughs> like he's just nailing them well, left and no, right in the paddy the field. Flow. The dude's in the driver's seat. He just turned it around. Well, yeah, he did that, but yeah. there were also guys oh, like, yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. like a... They and their like, arms just blow off. Like Yeah, they're like getting cut in half. And I'm oh, like, really? Well, and like uh, I read some tweet. Some guy was talking about the, that movie and he was like, he's like, I had just returned from war and like 
<laughs> this was exactly what like these weapons would do to people's bodies. Yeah. And I was like, well, like, 50 cal. Yeah. Well, but like, just like they, they didn't shy away from realism. Oh, yeah. good. Cause, yeah. And I think it, what helped was, uh, Stallone directed that one. Oh, okay. I think he directed this one too, but it was with the help of someone else. I, I know he wrote it. I don't think he directed this one. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, so the fourth one was really good. This one again felt like a Home Alone with murder, uh, which those guys should have died in Home Alone too because they were getting hit with a lot of stuff. Anyway, in, in two or in both, in, two. Uh, 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 sorry, yeah. First one should have been enough. <laughs> two, he gets a brick on his head. From yeah, there. I mean that should have knocked him yeah. unconscious. Hey yo, spoilers ahead. Watch out. So yeah, he goes. He's got a daughter. No, it's his niece, who's not really his niece. It's, Wait, is it though? I can't. They don't. They also don't disclose See, that's that. That's the problem with this film. There's a <laughs> lot of things kind of like very vague. He lives like, with this woman who like, yeah. could be a sister, but also like just like strikes me as like a housekeeper. I'm like, yeah. who is this? And they never really say it. And then this girl, like, she comes home and she's like, oh, I'm going to this party. And he's like, Oh, I'll invite him over here. Show him the tunnels. And she's like, Okay. And then they have a party, and we're, we're gonna spoil it. Is that okay? Yeah, well, no, so you're fine. Everyone, Rambo, he lives on a ranch. I'm still. Now. This is uh, you guys take my horse to the old town road. <laughs> they play that in the trailer. Yeah. Nice. I know it's pretty cool. It was actually um, really good. But he lives on a ranch now, and four ended with him. Spoilers going, going back, back right, home. Right, Rambo's on the mailbox. Yep. Um, and now you find out he's built tunnels underneath his farm probably just for like a doomsday prepper yeah or whatever. and he's raised this niece which is related or not related we she don't know a, she was like five or something when he yeah. came back from war so this movie really isn't meant to like have a lot of plot i mean it's just pretty basic it's like, like they sneeze the story on a board and they're like should we clean it up and they're like ah tell it i don't know Go. i mean it's entertaining don't get me <laughs> yeah. wrong but yeah they Any stallone movie is going to be entertaining there's, so, there's a journalist they introduce in this film, yeah, and so, it never goes anywhere. Really. No, so they don't. Yeah. He does. It also just he doesn't strike me as Rambo. Like I think I don't know if it's the hair. Yeah, it's it's like he's playing a whole different character. Yeah, yeah the um, hair is very like wholesome now, or not wholesome, but just like he's like he talks a lot more, and he's just like a family man. I'm like, wow, eight years really changed from what thirty years of movies or whatever. Um, and thirty years got, of living um, in the forest, yeah. and yeah. I don't know if you'd say bigot, but anyway, it just seems like he's got an attitude towards, oh, you're going to Mexico. No, I'm going to Mexico. Well, which I get. Mexico, there is full drug cartel. No, yeah, so I know, I, get, I know, I, I know. And like people are saying, like, this is like a Trump movie or something. I'm like, I don't know if I, I don't buy that. I don't no, know, because no. like he lives in Arizona and like it's close to Mexico. Right. It, just, it makes sense. Well, clearly, one scene, she's like drives uh, in a different she, direction and she's yeah. in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. She like, no. she like stops her car. She's like, I'm going to go to Mexico. And then like it cuts. I know there's time in between it, but then all of a sudden she's at the border. Yeah. The like, editing is probably she got there in, like, too short. Yeah. Um, yeah. So she goes to find her dad because like she's never, uh, or he left her at a young age or something. He goes to find her dad with the help of this girl that she knew. And her dad is pretty much like, I never wanted you. Like, I never loved you. I wasted my time, blah, blah, blah. Sends her away. Then her friend's like, oh, we should go party. It's too late for you to go back to America, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's, like, it's too late. And then, yeah. Then somebody drugs her drink. She wakes up. She's been, like, kidnapped into, like, this drug cartel's, like, sex trafficking industry or something. So it's, like, Taken 2. Pretty or much. Taken. Yeah, it's, re- so, it's really, like, a Taken film. Yes. So, uh, I can't remember how they found out. Oh, I think her friend said, like, she never came over. Her friend said, like, his niece never came over to her house, which is where she said she was going. Mm-hmm. They find out somehow she's in Mexico. Rambo goes there. First, he finds her friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This friend used to live near them, and she moved away, and she was bad news, and supposedly yeah. she changed. Yeah. Anyway, he, he goes to her apartment, and he's like, where is she? And she said, I don't know nothing. And yeah. then she, like, she has this wristband or this bracelet on that her mom gave to her. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, where'd you get that? And he was, uh, or he's like, where'd you get that? And she was like, she gave it to me. I don't know. He's like, that was her mom. She would never give it to you. He, like slams his knife on the table. I'm like, okay, this is getting Rambo for me. Yeah. Um, and then he goes, they take, she takes her, takes him to a nightclub. He finds this guy who like is pretty much like a scouter for yeah. young girls. He meets him outside. Cause he's like mm-hmm. trying to like bring in this new girl. Stabs him in like, or he like hits him in the chest. Mm-hmm. I think, I don't know if it was like the blunt end of the knife or with the knife. But it cut him open a little bit. And then, like, he stabs him in the leg. He's getting this guy, like, all, like, you know, vulnerable. Mm-hmm. He starts, like, digging into this guy's skin. Nice. Like, pulling out, I don't know what bone it was. I think it was, like, a... Clavicle? Sh- yeah, probably a clavicle. And he, like, starts, like, snapping it and everything. He's like, tell me where you're talking about. He's like, okay. Uh. And he, like, drives her. He takes the guy to the, like, the drug house or whatever. Knocks him out. This is where it gets really, like... 
weird for me. So he goes through these streets where like all these cartel, the, the, the gang members are. And he, go, he finally, he ends up on this rooftop, which is also like a street or something. And they like surround him pretty much. And like, they take his gun, they take his knife and they're like, Oh, this is Rambo. He's like, Oh, I, like, where's my daughter? Or where's my niece? So like, where'd you take your blah, blah, blah. And then like this guy comes over and he, he said something like, uh, you need to leave or something like that. And then like Rambo, like gives him attitude. The guy, the guy turns around and like, you see it's coming from a mile away. He like goes to like strike Rambo yeah. with the knife. His instincts just don't kick in. Yeah. And he gets hit with the knife and then uh, like he gets sliced in the face. Well, Rambo's now significantly older. Sure. I mean, I, your I reflexes are like, going to slow. I was like, oh, he's planning this. And then he just gets the crap beat out of him for like 30 seconds. He's like, his face is all like swollen and they pretty much like turn out his daughter and everything. And I was like four days. He was knocked out. He goes in to find her and uh, he like kills all the guys. I'm like, why don't you do this before? Yeah. Um, he hits them all in the head with a hammer. I'm like, that's yeah, easy. It's pretty easy enough. He gets her. She's like all drugged up. Like he, she's got like tons of drugs yeah. in her arms and she's like cold and like, like twitching. Uh, he takes her back home. She dies. She dies halfway halfway uh, to the plate to get back home. She dies. I did not see that. I happen. didn't either. I, I was didn't like, either. oh, my God. I was like, but that gives him motive now. That's one thing like, that's not predictable about the whole film is yeah. you, you think, oh, he's going to get her back home. They're going to leave. She's yeah. going to rehabilitate it. He's going to take care of these guys. But no. like that gives him like motive now. But I'm like, wow, I did not see that happen. But I think he already had that. I mean, especially hitting the guys with the hammers yeah. and stuff. Like, I think um, he was already willing to go back and... But they, him. but they, you know, they had his license, mm -hmm. so they like knew where he lived. They came. He sent his like sister slash whoever she was away. He rigged everything, like yeah. the tunnels with like C four, all these traps. And I'm like, oh, he's home alone in them. Yeah, pretty much. And like the last like 20 minutes was just like these guys like carnage, a certain no. death. Oh my god, there was one. This guy gets his face like. Sliced. Oh, that part was great. They like, slowed it down. Like, like halfway, Whoa. like it, it like sliced into his skull like this. Oh wow! And I'm and like it just like was so haunting. I'm like, ugh. I was like, this is. That's like the one thing that Rambo's really good for is showing realistic uh, gore. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know if it was realistic. I haven't seen the first three films. Were those realistic <laughs> no. at all? Okay. No, but the fourth he one. Shot, he one shot that explosive uh, bullet at that one general, and he's just like, Rah! <laughs> Oh, was it a spent uranium round or something? I don't know. Oh. Well, but what doesn't make sense is, okay, it, it, uh, it takes forever the action to get going, and it's almost like it could keep it could keep going, but then they stop by him bringing the girl back, which is fine. Mm -hmm. They do have his license. He sets everything up, but he also still has to go back there to piss them off even more, further, and he kills the brother of the, the leader. One of oh, the yeah, he does. But that's a great scene because he's driving back. And so it's almost like there's two parts to the movie. You have the finale, sort of, but then something happens, like, and he honestly, has to go back and fix the rest. They should have, like, he shouldn't have had to gone back there. They yeah. had his address. They know he took the girl, and he killed some of their men. They should have just been coming already. He didn't have to go back and start more shit. Right. right. But it, it was entertaining because, yeah, the guy got what he deserved. He decapitated the dude. And the you're whole, driving back. Yeah, yes. He, he, had, he, like, threw his head out of the... On the open oh, cool. road. The open road. Yeah. Like, Classic Rambo. But yeah, once they get to the ranch, it's... I was like, how long was he holding that? Just like, <laughs> wait for it. Hey, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> I right, dumped the head out the window. <laughs> um, yeah, like so that back, won't. So they get back to the ranch. Really is like Rambo gets shot like twice from the main like cartel dude. You think I? I thought he was gonna die because I was like, mm -hmm. well, this is last blood. So he like setting off all these traps, and then he's like, he plays this uh, song to like throw them all off. It's like, like her music, isn't it? Or something? I think so. Yeah, and I'm like, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and then like. <clears throat> He like gets on the PA and he or something or it was walkie talkie and he's like if you want to live follow the lights and he like turns on these lights that like these light bulbs that like fall like lead the way out but then uh, like he sets off the C four so the guy's like oh god oh god and he's like running through the tunnels and then like uh, he said something like I'm gonna pull your heart out of your chest yeah or something like that and uh, he's a man of his show, word he's like I'm gonna pull your heart out of your chest to show you like what, how you've you know done the same to me yeah um. And then he, like, corners him. Oh, the, he's in the barn, and he's, like, up against the wall. He's, like, looking for him. He's, like, where is this guy? And he, like, looks up at the, like, 
you know, those like the high rise mm-hmm. in the barn where like the window is. He's like, and then nothing happens. And then Rambo's kind of like, yeah, and then he, like <laughs> hits him with like three arrows and like pins him to the yeah. wall. Comes up, uh, stabs him in the chest, cuts down, literally pulls his heart out of his chest. And like, he's like, like that. And I'm like, oh, he's already dead. He doesn't know what you're saying. <laughs> like, don't talk. He's, you, you got him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then he like, he did some stupid like monologue of like, uh, I live on so I can defend yeah, my that family was really, or something. Yeah. I'm like, you could have just panned out and like gone to credits. He got he got into his rocker on the on the yeah. bench. And if you didn't stick around, you could see he did live. He was going to the mountains now on horseback. What? So is that the end of the credits? They show all the yeah. They show yeah at a the sizzle end, reel of all the other movies. It shows him like Ooh. rocking in on on the porch, and then it shows him on horseback, all bloodied up. Riding towards the mountains. Nice. He's rocking it. He's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, there's a lot of odd things. Like, there's some close up in close ups in this film. I'm I'm really questioning. Like, him and the reporter have this scene, and they're so close to each other. I'm just like, is is he gonna make out with her? What's <laughs> going on? And uh, with the whole heart thing, I was afraid he was gonna bite the heart. <sighs> yeah, I thought he was really like. I didn't do that. Bah! And so <laughs> he just drops it. Nice. But, I'm like. <laughs> No, but it uh, it made up for everything at, in that end scene, you know. Uh, sure, yeah. For what it is. It's not, like, terrible, but it could have been a better going out movie. Like, 4 was... I think 4 ended great. Yeah. It was like, he went back home finally. He went home, and he can just do his own thing. And he never went home before. And they had production stills of him in, like, full cowboy gear. Like, he's a rancher now, which yeah. is like, okay, cool. But they you never see any of that. There's, like, a cool still of him... On horseback, cowboy hat, uh, he's got like a, a coat, a big, uh, you know, cowboy coat, yeah. whatever. It's in the dark and there's rain. And I'm like, oh, that looks cool. Like, these yeah. people are going to come to his ranch, but you never see any of that. Oh, that's too bad. It's like they just they just cut a lot out or they just didn't I feel like film Fork it. Fork has just been like a, a good, like, here's where we get off the train. Yeah. And the story will go on, but it will just be him just like living a life that he never got to live now. So That's kind of what I took it as. Well, For the fourth one, it could have been that, but now it's like... It's just sad, though, because he, he seemed to have the happy ending finally, yeah. and it's yeah. like, nope, not happy. She's she's dead. Yeah. And it's just like, ah, oh, man. Somebody should have yelled when he ripped out the heart and threw it on the ground. No, he was an organ donor. <laughs> <laughs> Kalima. <laughs> He'd just be like, no one deserves this heart. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not really like disappointed that I went to see it in theaters, but I was just like... It could have mm. been better. Could have been better. Yeah. Definitely. Good rent movie? Yeah. Mm, sure. Yeah. If it's like a Sunday afternoon, you got nothing to do. <laughs> I'm glad I saw the fourth one in the theater. I'll just say that. But this one... That was... <laughs> God, that that was just like... I think that was the first movie for me where like everything just felt so... Like, like turmoil. Mm-hmm. And there's like nothing like happy. And I was just like, oh, this kind of sucks. But like... I don't know. That's how some movies are. Like that's yeah. where I realized. Like this is what some movies are. Right. Well, so just, yeah, it was. It's funny. I was in, I was enjoying the the end so so much. I was laughing and I was like, I better stop. But this is wrong to laugh at. But yeah, like, they're, <laughs> well, they're just all getting their due. These bad guys. It's just like a classic eighties film. Yeah. yeah. It's like you don't really care about. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, this is terrible. No, it's not. It's fun. But yeah, uh, I doubt they'll make another one. I, I mean, I said that last time, but. He's gonna be like. I hope in his, make another one. He's gonna be in his eighties. Well, they wait again. I mean, just make stop. make one more and no, then don't call make it done. Any more? <laughs> make no more. This was good enough. It's not okay if you're Rambo versus the Yeti. <laughs> it's funny how you say that. After the last Rambo, they did they did tease or think of an idea of him taking on like a superhumanoid, governor government government made humanoid. Yeah, it would oh. really stupid. Deadpool. I'm the Terminator. The Predator crossover. I mean, you're the Terminator Rambo. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like Crystal Skull bad. Yeah, for my you know hey, for for what it. Rambo is, Watch I'm saying it. still an Indiana Jones movie. Yes, yes. Crystal Skull's good. <laughs>